Hello everyone, I'm the Viking General and this short video will be about Terrain. Let's begin. Terrain in Shogun 2, like most Total War games, can be vital for winning battles. With the right terrain, an army can win a seemingly unwinnable battle, while if they had normal terrain, they would have been wiped from the battlefield. There are three key terrain features in Shogun 2, slopes, forest and impassable terrain. Let's start with slopes. The hills on the battle maps are in there just for show. They have a big impact in both maneuvering and fighting. Units moving uphill will very quickly drain their stamina and they'll cover less ground compared to units moving over flat terrain. A unit which has the high ground will be much more effective fighting a unit on lower ground. While on flat terrain a Yari Ashigaru unit will be ripped to shreds by a Katana Samurai unit, they are actually able to defeat such a unit while they have the high ground. Holding the high ground is beneficial for both your fighting strength and for draining your enemy's stamina, because your enemy will have to run up the hill. Furthermore, a charge uphill is far less devastating, while a charge downhill will be much more powerful compared to the same charge on the flat terrain. The steeper the slope, the stronger the positives and the negatives are. Keep this in mind, as this means that you want to hold the slope, not the top of the hill. The forest has three characteristics you can make use of. Firstly, you can hide all troops except for a general in the forest area. Units will stay hidden even if you walk through the forest, but they will be detected if they run. You can use this to set up ambushes to either have a clear shot at the enemy's rear flank or to try and bait enemy units into a hidden ambush party. Secondly, all cavalry is hampered since their speed will be reduced and they have trouble keeping a tight formation. Thirdly, trees actually block projectiles. That means that archers firing into and out of a forest have their accuracy effectively reduced. So if your enemy has more missile units, fighting in the forest will help considerably with keeping your troops alive. The third feature is impassable terrain. This could be a steep cliff, a river, or even just a house on the battlefield. These terrain features are mainly used to protect your flanks without having to dedicate troops to that job. This can be very useful in defensive situations where you're unnumbered by the enemy. In conclusion, the best possible position to fight in would be on the upper side of a slope, with your troops in forest cover, the enemy having no forest cover on the approach, and a flank protected by an impassable terrain feature. Unfortunately, that generally doesn't happen, but it's still important to try and use terrain to maximize your advantage. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified when I upload new videos that will help you master Shogun 2. Thank you.